Welcome YouTube. Uh, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I posted anything. I've been busy since the weather's gotten nice and you know doing all the stuff you got to do outside, which uh, brought me to this video. Um, I bought this Cub Cadet tractor. Uh, it's a year, but last fall, <clears throat> and I've got uh, several uh, pieces of land that I mow. Uh, with it uh, and, uh, every couple of weeks I mow and I was out mowing the grass uh, well it's more than grass it was kind of it was more than grass back in the woods and all of a sudden I was riding along and the mower just quit this one's got this one's got the PTO uh, drive you pull this out it's a I guess it's electric I don't know that much about it you push it back in to shut it off <clears throat> but at any rate uh, it quit working and I got home and it was too dark to back in the woods where I was at to look at and see what was going on so I got home and uh, I'll show you down here uh, it's kind of dark but maybe you can see it this spring right here came loose not on this bracket but the bracket on the other side and once that came loose the PTO or the belt came loose and which flipped it off of this this gizmo and as you can see the belt on the PTO uh, units whether it's engaged or not engaged this belt is always tight so uh, I'm a one-man operation and I tried to hold the pivot point, which is right down here. And I will, uh, at the end of this video, I'm going to post pictures more detailed with uh, call outs to show you exactly what I had to do to get this accomplished by myself. If you had two guys working on, on this, you could, you could get it done. But there's no way, there's no way you're going to pull that uh, pulley pivot back and get the belt attached to the PTO unit or drive being one person no way in heck so what I did was I got this dog chain uh, and I got my good old uh, John Deere and I might mention the John Deere I've had for over 12 years and I have not had one problem with that tractor at all and I put it through its paces too it's got I don't know how many hours it's got, but it's got a lot of hours. You can see it's it's pretty uh, it's pretty sturdy and scarred up, and but I maintain it well. I change the oil, I grease it all the time. As you can see, the the hubs are all greased up, and but I uh, come close to things. And but anyhow, all I'm saying is this 12, 12 year old tractor is was able to help me fix my one-year-old Cub Cadet. So what I did was I uh, took this chain and hooked it to the the pulley uh, bracket and then I hooked the other end to the tractor right there and I, mo I moved the tractor up until it pulled the pulley bracket tensioner as tight as it could be and then left it, it parked parked it and was able to then work with getting this belt put back on this pulley because like I said before there is no way one person is going to uh, retract this bracket with the pulley to give you enough slack a belt to get it around this so doing that doing it all that way it, it worked out real well and it's working so uh, I'll uh, leave you with that at the end of this I'm gonna post still pictures with some call outs and you can see exactly what I had to do how I hooked it up and what had to be done to get the belt back on on uh, PTO drive 
driven Cub Cadet. If you like this video, please like it, thumbs up, and please subscribe because <clears throat> if I can help people, I would, uh, the more subscribers, you know, the bigger, the better the audience. So please subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Have a great day. Take care.